if you're looking to give your home or business a unique flair, we're, we're taking you to a little known place in Detroit that's home to a treasure trove of items just waiting for a second chance. This is the Architectural Salvage Warehouse of Detroit. We're a 501c3 nonprofit corporation focusing on transforming waste into opportunity. Architectural Salvage Warehouse started in 2003 with the retail store on 15th Street, uh, corner of Warren and Grand River, and that's where we still operate today, our retail store, and we have our lumber warehouse. What we do is we go into these houses and properties and salvage all of the materials and deconstruct the whole thing if possible. That's where all this lumber comes from. Uh, it's the structural lumber that built the houses in Detroit and the surrounding areas. So we go in and we take all that material, we get it ready for resale, and we provide low-cost building materials to Detroiters. I think we're still a, one of the best kept secrets. One of the most fun things about what we do here is we've got artists and craftsmen, uh, highly trained, skilled individuals here that are making pieces of furniture, cutting boards, dining room tables, end tables, beautiful pieces, uh, conversation pieces in people's homes. If we deconstruct a house um, on uh, Carpenter Street, then that history gets carried forward to the end product and uh, that's a story that the new owners can tell about that, the history where that wood came from. work with artists, designers, architects, and other businesses to develop solutions for reuse. We're at Third Man Records, and this whole storefront was the old factory windows that came out of the Cadillac stamping plant, or originally the Hudson manufacturing plant. So we recovered these, clean them up, sandblast them, powder coat them. So they've got a nice, beautiful, historic storefront here um, out, of, out of reclaimed, reused materials. We are at Will Leather Goods, which is uh, our biggest project to date. We were the general contractor here. All of the woodwork, all the grinding of the terrazzo and restoration work. We salvaged parts and pieces out of the old Detroit Fire Department headquarters and rebuilt it into the coffee station here. We are at Eight Degrees Plato, a craft beer store in Growlerville uh, on Cass in Midtown. And uh, we did the build out here too in the uh, this bar, whole bar, came from what's now the Hopcat restaurant was Agave and Canfields. Reclaim and reuse trend is very hot and I don't think it's going anywhere. You're getting lumber that's salvaged from Detroit, processed in Detroit, remanufactured in Detroit. All of that is jobs, all of that is taxes going back into the local economy and community. A lot of people see these, these old houses that need to come down, and they do need to come down. They're not viable as a house anymore, but the parts and pieces of it are extremely important and viable, and um, it's like a forest out there waiting to be recovered. See, one man's trash, another man can turn into treasure. How about that? So joining us is Chris Rutherford. Thank you for being here. And we've also got Penn Green from Architectural Salvage Warehouse. Thank Thanks, you. guys. This is a lot of cool stuff going on here. How did you guys start this business? Well, we started in 2003 with a vision to transform waste into opportunity. So keeping those materials out of the landfills, mm -hmm. providing job training and employment, and uh, providing nice. low-cost building materials to Detroiters. That's very cool, very cool. So how did it all start though? Whose idea was it? You saw a piece of wood and you were like, hey, I can do something with this. Uh, our first executive director was Carolyn Mosier and she had a vision to, to save those architectural details. Um, okay. And then you know, the idea of, of employing these people that need jobs, this is a great way they can pull the nails and we can train them up into the construction trades and create a real great career pathway for them in the deconstruction. Field. That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me about some of the stuff that we have here. Yeah, well, what we brought with us today were these cutting boards, presentation boards, cheese boards that we make out of the old flooring and molding that comes out of the houses. Very cool. And we're giving one of these away Sturdy. today, and these are available now at the Pure Detroit stores. Awesome. And then I brought with me Penn Green, which is one of our artists and craftsmen, and that's one of our favorite things to do is to have people come in with their pictures off the internet, their ideas, their sketches, and we help mm. them find the pieces of wood and build what they want to build, or we can build it for them, but there's a lot of easy, great DIY projects 
make these coat racks, uh, coat rack shelves. So Penn's cool. going to take us through how to make one of these. Come on, uh, Penn, how do you do this? Easy way. Perfect. Nice. Um, so this is sort of the kind of thing we would end up with. Okay. Um, place to hang your coats. Uh, we could put nails. We can put. We've got a number of. Very cool looking knobs, all kinds um, of different interesting yeah. things that can make a great hook. These are mm -hmm. awesome. And you know what? I'd use all different ones, right? Why oh, not? Mix and match, yeah. Kind of make it interesting. Um, and this, this is an example of some rough wood that you'd mm -hmm. start with um, that we can cut down. Okay. Um, so we have these, these rough blanks cool. um, that become the coat rack. And then? And then. And then. And then. Super exciting. Um, get sanded down, okay. um, so nice you get this, like this this nice finish. Yeah, and that looks good. So for the kind of yeah. person, because I mentioned to you, Christopher, that I am handy with a little power drill, mm -hmm. and I like to feel like I'm a DIYer. So could you guys cut the pieces for me and give me instructions, and then I can maybe do it with you or take it home and do it? Absolutely, we can we put could. together a DIY yeah. kit for you to make it mm -hmm. very easy and straightforward, okay. and you get the ownership. You get to pick out all these cool pieces I love it. and make it your very own. So can anyone shop there? Absolutely. Okay. We've got two locations. We've got our retail store at 4885 15th Street, open Tuesday through Sunday, 11 mm -hmm. to 5. Cool. And we've got our lumber warehouse at 5110 Bellevue, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Okay, cool. So, I mean, what's the craziest thing you've made? Could you even make a bike out of this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you Look should ask. Look at this, you know, buddy. Back when I was a kid, back when I Look was a this. little boy, they used to make bikes out of wood, Toddy. <laughs> How Hang cool on, I had to get this? my cuff tucked in. Now, this is wild because I can <laughs> see this in a slow roll. Has this one been in the That's roll? been in many. Come on. Yep. Cool. I mean, this is everything but the wheels and the sprockets. This is Look cool. at this. This is, I want to be careful. Penn's got 2,000 miles on that bike. Penn no, about amazing. Kidding. And this is your personal bike? This is, um, awesome. it's a, a design I've been developing for about a year. Okay. Um, working on some right now. Um, it looks like a piece of art. It's though. not that heavy. That. I mean, I was surprised. It, you know, it's, it's a good design. maybe even lighter than a standard bike of its kind. I mean, yes. it felt really cool. easy to ride. And it takes the shock. Um, yeah. All floorboards. Come on. Awesome. Yeah. No kidding. Good yeah. stuff. Great. Thanks Good so much, you guys, you guys for so being much. here. And like we said, we're giving away one of the cutting boards. Just go to our Live and D Facebook page for your chance to enter.